Okay guys, we are in uh, Melbourne Airport International Terminal, Melbourne Airport, Australia Today is the 15th of November 2018 I'm just about to show you what exactly goes on in Islamic prayer rooms now as we're walking over here you can see there's a prayer room sign behind me right there um, so we're gonna go to the prayer room and let's see what goes on inside uh, Islamic prayer rooms in Melbourne So, I am inside the uh, Islamic prayer room in Melbourne Airport. And uh, not making this up. I'm inside the Islamic prayer room in Melbourne Airport. Here we have a library. Let's take a look at what this book here says. Uh, now before I continue, I'm just asking a question, who put this here? I'm not saying Melbourne Airport put this book here, but perhaps there are some activists who have put this book in the shelf. And look, we have the Bible, we have other other uh, books as well. Um, we have the Quran. So there's really nothing uh, preventing anyone from putting a book in Melbourne airport prayer rooms. Now let's take a look at this book. And this book is about the Islamic jurisprudence. It's called Fiqh Sunnah and it's volume three. It's available in uh, most Islamic countries. It's a very important Islamic book. Let's take a look at the contents pages of this book. Okay, page 19, Jihad. Page 59, Taking Hostages at War. Page 48, Jizya, Making the Infidel Pay Money. Islamic taxes. 228. Martyrdom. Will Melbourne Airport take action? Will they start monitoring these Islamic prayer rooms? In any case, I've done my job. If I don't expose this, nobody will. I've done my part. The rest is your job. I need to get out of here. Goodbye.